senior year, home teacher put on the TV, saw the buildings burning, people jumping out, holding hands, decided then, wanted to protect my country, had to. It's raring to go, waiting by the door for the bus. I walked him to the curb. Just before he got on, he turned back to me. He said, Mom, promise me something. If anything happens, open the body bag. Mistakes happen. Make sure it's me. This is not an Iraq play. It's not a political play. It's a play about the human cost of war. I wanted to look at what the wars we fight bring home. I was listening to New Hampshire Public Radio and there was uh, an interview. Daniel Zwerdling of NPR was interviewing a playwright, Kate Wenner, about her new play, which dealt with traumatic brain injury in the military. I'm the daughter of a Vietnam vet, and for many years I've been looking for an opportunity to use my work in theater to bridge the civilian-military divide. And so when Stephanie Nugent learned about this play on NPR, she said to me, you are the one to direct this show. The play tells the story of five vets, all who came home with various levels of traumatic brain injury. Traumatic brain injury caused by IED blasts, has been called the signature injury of the Iraq and the Afghanistan wars. It's like you got hit by a wall of wind. Cement wind. Then whacked in the head with a shovel. I stopped counting after 20 IEDs. Seconds pass when you don't know if you're dead or alive. I came to with blood running down my face. Something's happened at a chemical level. All these vets are showing up with multiple areas of injury. What's that? That is the frontal lobe damage. The brain's executive, decision-making, uh, regulation of mood, impulse control. I saw the pictures of my ugly fucking brain! What am I going to tell him? The truth. The play is also about families. As I went around the country and did the interviews, I spoke with so many family members, and what became clear to me, this particular injury, and really all injuries from wars, turn out to be family injuries, because the family has to cope. My husband, he was going to be career army in for six years. Now all he wants to do is sit and stare at his lava lamp. That's how he found out what happened and how he's going to have the mentality of a 10-year-old for the rest of his life. That's terrible. It's just, you know, those wives who lost their husbands over there, they, don't, they think they have it so much worse than us, and they don't get that we lost our husbands, too. Mike, please. Mike. Trying to talk to you. Sometimes it's lonelier with you home than it was when you were away. Just say the word, Sandy. Ask for a divorce. I will give it to you. I don't want her help. And I don't want your help. I don't want anybody's fucking help. I think the most important thing people can walk away from this play learning is just to get a greater insight into the effects of brain injury and what it can do to people and how devastating this injury can be, uh, particularly because it's an injury that isn't visibly apparent. People tell me I look the same. They think it'd be worse if I lost an arm or a leg. I say no. Pick any two limbs, three. Take them in exchange for my brain back. To me, the most haunting thing that we have learned in the year and a half of working on it is that it is possible to have a brain injury that is invisible and can go undiagnosed. The fact that we are using our capacities as theater artists to really affect people immediately is 
tremendously gratifying. Before the show opened, we spent a couple of months traveling to five locations around the state with an hour-long presentation that includes several scenes from the play that illustrate particular ideas about blast-induced traumatic brain injury. So I'm hoping that as the play gets out into the community, it'll help, you know, mom say, that may be what's wrong with my son-in-law. It feels amazing. It feels like what we were born to do, to use theater to make a difference in the community. When I get my driver's license back, I'm gonna go out, buy my mom a diamond ring. When I couldn't take care of myself, she took care of me every step of the way. Some guys just end up lying there. Nobody helping. Nobody caring. Let me go down, go down, let me go down slow. Let me go down, go down, let me go down slow. See that hill over there? Climb right up, see it disappear. Let me go down, go down, let me go down slow. Let me go down, go down, let me go down slow. Stand alone at the 